Hello again, boys and girls. Today we're going to read The Beginning of Mice and Beans by Pam Munez Ryan and illustrated by Joe Cepeda. And we're going to just look at the beginning and then we're going to focus on something from the beginning of the story once we get there. Let's enjoy the beginning again. Rosa Maria lived in a tiny house with a tiny yard, but she had a big heart, a big family, and more than anything, she loved to cook big meals for them. In one week, her youngest grandchild, little Catalina, would be seven years old, and the whole family would squeeze into her casita for the party. Rosa Maria didn't mind because she believed that what her mother had said, when there's room in the heart, there's room in the house except for a mouse. Sunday, Rosa Maria planned the menu, enchiladas, rice, and beans. No dinner was complete without rice and beans. Birthday cake, lemonade, and a pinata filled with candy. She ordered the birthday present, something little Catalina had wanted for a long time. Satisfied with the plans, she wiped down the table so she wouldn't get mice and took out a mouse trap just in case. She was sure she had set one out the night before, but now she couldn't find it. Maybe she'd forgotten. When it was set and ready to snap, she turned off the light and went to bed. Monday, Rosa Maria did the laundry. She washed and ironed her largest tablecloth and the 24 napkins that matched. But when she finished, she only counted 23. No importa, she said, it doesn't matter. So what if someone has a napkin that doesn't match? The important thing is that we're all together. After dinner, she swept the floor and checked the mouse trap. But it was missing. Didn't I set one last night, she wondered? She hurried to the cupboard to fetch another. And when it was set and ready to snap, she turned off the light and went to bed. Tuesday, Rosa Maria walked to the market she filled her big bolsa with tortillas, cheese, red sauce, white beans, pinto beans, and a bag of candy. She bought a pinata on her way home. She stopped at the pastelia to order the cake. After dinner, she washed the dishes and checked the mousetrap. But it had vanished. Gay Boba, silly, silly me, I must have forgotten again. She hurried to the cupboard to fetch another, and when it was set and ready to snap, she turned off the light and went to bed. Wednesday, Rosa Maria prepared the enchiladas. She dipped the tortillas in red sauce, filled them with cheese, and rolled them into fat little bundles. She noticed the pinata was missing a few feathers. No importa, she said. Those feathers won't make a difference to the children when the pinata is filled with candy. After dinner, she mopped up the sauce and checked the mousetrap. But it was gone again. I'm so busy that I'm forgetting to remember, she cried. She hurried to the cupboard to fetch another. And when it was set and ready to snap, she turned off the light and went to bed. Thursday, Rosa Maria simmered the beans. She searched for her favorite wooden spoon, the one she always used to cook frioles. But she couldn't find it. No importa, she said. The beans will taste just as good if I use another spoon. She added water all day long until the beans were plump and soft. Then she scrubbed the stove and checked the mousetrap. But it was nowhere in sight. Heavens, she said, where is my mind? She hurried to the cupboard to fetch another, and when it was set and ready to snap, she turned off the light and went to bed. And that's where we are going to stop today. Now, in your beginning section, I would like you to focus on what does Rosa Maria do every night that is the same? Hmm. So for the beginning of the story, I want you to draw a picture and write a sentence or two telling me, what does Rosa Maria do every night that is the same? Keep up the great work, friends. See you tomorrow.